so how we're going to structure um, today's session is I'm going to do kind of a didactic presentation on advances in reincarnation research using a slideshow. So if anybody wants to take a nap, this is the time to do it. <laughs> then uh, Kevin will do a presentation followed by a, a channeling and then a question and answer session. Uh, I'm, I'm a medical doctor and I got involved in reincarnation about 15 years ago and I'll tell my story as part of the presentation. Kevin, do you want to say anything? Um, <clears throat> actually, Walter's kidding. You'll find his presentation very dynamic. It's, 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 to me, it's, it's a wonderful merger of both spirit and science, which I think is a, is, is a rare gift. So, Walter, I, I don't recommend your, your speaking to take a nap and or training for training. <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and uh, step back and allow Walter to uh, give this presentation. I'll be in the back of the room there. And then uh, I shall return later. Okay, great. Okay, so first I'd like to just introduce people to the ISIS website. And this is really the um, foundation of how we plan to disseminate information about reincarnation research around the world. Uh, the website is programmed for translation in 40 languages. And we've already started the translation process uh, through some volunteers. But um, to really be able to do that effectively, we need funds. So if you or, or anybody you know might be sympathetic to this cause, uh, we have a support ISIS section there, and, and uh, you can help build the website. Uh, not only with translation, but we're asking for people's help in writing essays about uh, cases. Uh, one of our participants here uh, wrote uh, an essay on, on Napoleon, a case involving Napoleon that's recently been posted. And so we, we could use more help like that also. Uh, the, the sections that we're going to be talking about today are found under case studies. And what I've done is I've organized reincarnation cases which are independently researched, uh, not through Kevin and I, but through uh, researchers such as Ian Stevenson at the University of Virginia. And what I've done is I've um, created a list of principles of reincarnation that are based on these independently researched cases. And what we find is that from lifetime to lifetime, facial features can be consistent. Uh, xenoglossy cases exist where people can speak a language that they never learn by normal means. And what these cases show, actually, is that one's personality is not lost uh, after death, but is actually retained intact within the soul. Uh, and I'll, I'll be showing a couple of cases like that. Uh, split incarnation, which is what Kevin was referring to, where a soul can uh, um, inhabit more or animate more than one physical body at the time. And generally, I'll explain where we get this number, but we believe the upper limit is seven. Um, the uh, relationships are renewed through reincarnation which also shows that people can plan lifetimes. A very hard data shows this. Uh, change, there can be change of religion and nationality, which for me is w one of the main reasons I put so much energy into this, is I see how this can really benefit the world because when, when people realize they can be born uh, Jewish in one lifetime, Palestinian in another, Shiite in one life, Sunni in another, people will stop fighting uh, over these markers of identity. Um, we, we explain child prodigies through reincarnation, phobias from past lives, geographic memory where people know their way around a city that they've never been to before in their contemporary lifetime. We have a suicide case that was studied by Dr. Stevenson. Um, and again, we've started doing some translations. We, have a set of cases translated into Turkish uh, because I was just at a, a meeting recently in Turkey. Uh, and the point I want to make is uh, this is not my belief system. Uh, all these principles are based on independently derived cases. And we are really moving from the point uh, of spirituality being based on beliefs uh, to spirituality based on science. And there was the one question about 
um, the goddess Isis splitting into a, a thousand uh, souls, uh, there's no evidence that that's true. And up till now, we've relied on uh, psychics and mystics and, and religions to try to answer these questions about life and what happens after life because we didn't have any other source. But now that's changing and, and science is now starting to um, uh, be able to explain uh, what happens after we die. And just like it used to be that religion even would dictate how the solar system was organized. And uh, the Christian church said the earth was the center of the universe, not, not the sun. And they imprisoned Galileo when he uh, challenged them. In the same way, um, spirituality is moving from the realm of religion into the realm of science. And um, what I've done is I've been very careful to separate the cases that Kevin and I have, have worked on from these independent cases. There, there are people who maybe just don't believe in mediums. And, and uh, I, I want to make sure that people who visit the site understand which cases are carefully documented through scientific research and which cases were derived through Kevin and I. So the, the cases that we've derived uh, is under the spirit beings. And uh, they're called uh, ryerson Semke reincarnation cases. Okay, so as mentioned, everything that I'm going to be discussing today is on the ISIS website and, and much, much more. Uh, I could be talking here for 10 hours if we were going to cover everything on the website. And that's the reason we're developing the site is because there is uh, so much information. These are the principles of reincarnation that I just reviewed on the ISIS site. Um, I have two updated books. Born Again is what I consider sort of the state of the art of reincarnation research. And it focuses heavily on the work of Ian Stevenson. But there's also a section uh, involving cases that Kevin and I have done. And then Origin of the Soul and Purpose of Reincarnation is a collaborative work that Kevin and I have done. Uh, Kevin channels a spirit guide named Atun Ray, and 10 years ago I found that he's able to make accurate past life matches. And I'll show you later why I came to that assessment. Uh, and in the beginning, my main interest was trying to develop as many cases as possible. I thought this is cool. Uh, but then, after we had about a thousand, uh, I thought, wait a second, I don't really understand the big picture. And so for a year or two, I used sessions with Kevin to ask Atun Ray what it's all about and when were souls born and how, uh, how many lifetimes do we generally have? When, is it, when do we stop reincarnating? What are the criteria? What's the spiritual world like? And, and it's also, uh, uh, I've also enlisted the help of various clairvoyants and psychics who have been able to experience these worlds. So origin of the soul is, is kind of the big picture. And what's been really exciting for me is that as I have shifted more into promoting the work of Ian Stevenson, uh, I have found that through his work, the information that Atun Ray has told me is validated through objective cases. For instance, I asked him what happens in suicide. When I was writing the Origin of the Soul book, I asked what happens in suicide. Uh, and Atun Ray told me, well, you don't go to jail. Uh, you don't, uh, uh, in the Monopoly game, what's the term, putting in jail or whatever. You, 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 basi you, don't, you don't have eternal damnation. Uh, you basically reincarnate and have to face the same situation. And this time, hopefully, uh, not suicide. And, and I put that in the Origin of the Soul book. And two years later, as I'm going through the work of Stevenson, I find that he has a suicide case that shows that exact pattern. Um, Xenoglossy cases. I asked Atun Ray, what happens to my personality when I die? Does it sort of dissolve into the soup of my soul? Is it just kind of... Uh, something that my soul absorbs and the entity that's, that's Walter no longer exists. And he said, no, that's not true. 
um, your soul keeps your personalities. And later I'll be talking about a past incarnation as John Adams. And Atun Ray told me literally, when I, Walter, dies, uh, or die, when I die, I can actually have a dialogue with John Adams, my own past lifetime. And I thought, really? And, and, and I found that pretty amazing. Well, guess what? In researching Ian Stevenson, he shows, he has xenoglossy cases that show that exact phenomenon where a past lifetime from the 1800s comes through in these cases where the individual speaks the language from the past lifetime uh, and doesn't even know it's dead. <laughs> Phenomenal. So uh, to me, this is all very exciting. And it is, as Kevin said, merging uh, spirituality and science. Kevin's book is Spirit Communication. It's out of print, but you can still get it on the internet.